Hey y'all, have you ever felt like you've had one of those years where you have just had that class when it comes to classroom management? And it's one of those years where you feel like you have tried all the tricks up your sleeve in order to get your students to remain on task and nothing seems to be working. And it's one of those years when you are just willing to try anything to get your students to stay on task. I've been there and I have a feeling that we've all been there too, right? And so this was the year, when I think back on it, this was the year that I knew I needed to try something different. And that is the year that I came up with my classroom management board puzzles. So to, in this video today, I'm going to talk to you about what these classroom reward puzzles are, um, how you can use them, and a simple way to keep them all organized. So if you're ready, hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to give this video a like and let's dive in and get started. Welcome back. My name's Marcy Bernithi and I am the teacher author behind SaddleUpForSecondGrade.com and today I'm sharing one of my favorite classroom management hacks and that is using reward puzzles. So how these puzzles work is you are going to choose a classroom management hashtag hard work board. There are two options to choose from. You can choose from a 10 piece puzzle or there is a 15 piece puzzle option as well. You're gonna start out with a blank board. I recommend um, laminating your board so that it lasts longer and it's easier to get puzzle pieces on and off. Or you can always take your puzzle piece and slide it down into a plastic sheet protector and then clip it onto your whiteboard, which is what I did um, in my classroom. So let me explain a little bit how this works. So your students are gonna start off with a blank board. Now you want to choose a goal for them to work towards. And because this is more of a whole group management system, you want to choose a task that your students can work on together, such as lining up properly, going to the bathroom on time, walking quietly down the hall, having um, a positive experience in specials, nailing their transitions, everyone completing their homework. I mean, there are so many different ways that these can be incorporated. And so then as they work together as a class and you're seeing a positive behavior, then as a class, they have a chance to earn a puzzle piece. And for every puzzle piece that they earn, it's going to reveal a picture on their classroom management board. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually, um, I'm just going to display a picture here because I think that it's going to be a little bit easier than me trying to hold up the board and having all of these pieces. Um, so what they're going to do is when they demonstrate positive behavior, then you are going to choose a puzzle piece. On the back of each puzzle piece, there is a number that correlates with the space that that puzzle piece belongs to. So if you choose puzzle piece number three, then it's going to go in slot number three. And then the more puzzle pieces that they earn, obviously the more of the picture is going to be revealed. Now the picture that is shown on their puzzle piece is going to be the reward that the class gets when their puzzle is complete. So in this pack, there are over 50 different classroom rewards to choose from that are going to be absolutely no cost or very little cost to you, such as having a sidewalk chalk day, um, having a flashlight learning day where you turn all the lights off and kids get to do work with flashlights. It can be extra recess, lunch with the teacher, lunch with the principal, donut day, popcorn day, movie day. There are so many different options that are included in this classroom management pack. So I wanted to kind of show you um, another way that this can work and how you can keep all of your puzzle pieces organized because there are a lot of pieces, especially when you get multiple puzzles printed off. So let me kind of show you 
how I organize them. And I keep them in a one inch binder. You could absolutely do a larger binder if you wanted, but I have found that um, a one inch binder works just fine. And so on the inside, I have on the inside in the first pocket, this is where you could keep extra blank board copies if you wanted. This is a plastic sleeve that they can go down in. So this is just a blank sheet protector and I actually already have the puzzle pieces taped on there so that they don't fall off while I'm demonstrating this. But you just take your classroom management board and you slide it down in. I thought that I could do that like gracefully where you guys could see and that did not work and you'll see what it looks like. And so then as they earn a puzzle piece, so this is piece number two, once um, they complete the entire picture, then they receive this whole group reward. And so when it's, when I have my puzzles inside of a plastic sleeve like this, you can either use sticky tack or just regular tape to hold your puzzle pieces on the board. Now let me show you how to organize the pieces inside the binder. So what I did was I actually went on to Amazon and I bought like the old school baseball card like bi like binder sleeves. You guys remember those from when baseball cards were such a popular thing? They they might are they are baseball cards still a thing i don't know but that's getting off the subject um but on each sleeve there is nine sections so what i did was i would take the puzzle pieces i would keep them all together with a paper clip and then on um on the actual like pocket itself and it's going to be kind of hard to see here but on the actual pocket itself, I just used a permanent marker and I wrote what the puzzle is. So this one is cookies. So I wrote cookies right here and I keep all of these puzzle pieces inside this pocket. And then I use the paper clip here, if you guys can see that, I put the paper clip on like the outside of the pocket so that when you're turning pages and you're opening and closing your binder, that your puzzle pieces are secured to the pocket and they're not falling out. And so I have that for each puzzle. And so I just used a permanent marker. I would write what the puzzle is on the side and then keep all of the puzzles in that pocket. And it worked really well and kept them nice and organized. So these classroom reward puzzles were a huge game changer for my class because it really helped motivate my students to work together because once they were able to start guessing what their prize or reward was going to be, it just encouraged them to work together as a group so that everyone could earn and enjoy the prize that they were working for. And so just remember that so these classroom management board puzzles were a game changer in my classroom for so many ways. But what I really loved is that it encouraged them and motivated my students to work together so that everyone could enjoy and earn the prize that they were working towards. And so once they like once the puzzle pieces start to get revealed and they can actually guess what their prize is going to be, it motivates them even more to demonstrate that positive behavior within their classroom. So just remember that classroom management is one of the most important structures that you can put into your classroom from day one. So if you are interested in incorporating these classroom management puzzles into your classroom, during this school year, I'm going to drop the link below in the description where you can find these in my website store or on Teachers Pay Teachers. Inside um, the 
Um, inside the bundle, you are also going to get this classroom reward puzzle, like the binder cover. So you will get this included as well so that you can get your puzzles nice and organized for the school year. So as always, if you have any questions, drop me a comment below and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. Bye.